The 2025 Infiniti QX80 is here. More tech, more power under the hood, and more numbers on that price tag. What's good, guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to another video where Infiniti is kicking off their product renaissance with the unveiling of the redesigned QX80. It's a fitting choice as the SUV serves as both the brand's flagship and a window into its future direction. A new generation of the full-size luxury SUV, codenamed Z63, couldn't come soon enough as the current model has been on the market for a staggering 14 years first introduced in 2010 and having received two facelifts in 2015 and 2018 now while the 2025 qx80 clearly acknowledges the past it adopts Infinity's streamlined artistry and motion design language that was previewed by the QX monograph concept. Now, this results in a striking design that is both fresh and familiar. Now, some of the biggest changes occur up front where there is a new iteration of the company's double arc grille and it draws inspiration from the organic shapes of a bamboo forest and features an illuminated Infinity logo. Now, the grille is flanked by split lighting units and vertical air curtains which help improve the brick-like aerodynamics. Now, the evolutionary design continues Further back, as there is a long, flat hood that gives way to tout bodywork. The streamlined look is aided by the new flush mounted door handles and modernized front fender vents. More striking is the new greenhouse, which features blacked out pillars for an expansive appearance. Now, the D pillar is also trimmed down and accented by a wave like element, which signifies this particular model is the range topping autograph. Now, the evolutionary design continues out back as there's a modern lift gate with a full width light bar. The latter consists of over 300 LEDs and is designed to recall tranquil reflections of light upon a body of water. Now, staying on subject of lighting, the QX80 offers a new light pass system as part of its welcome sequence. As owners approach the vehicle, the door handles open automatically and extend while the Infinity logo illuminates and is followed by the daytime running lights. Now the light path system then projects a striking wing-like design on the ground to make an unforgettable impression. Now besides the fancy lights, Infinity has more than six years developing dynamic metal paint job. It's designed to give the SUV a liquid metal feel as the paint is applied in a precise process that ensures the metallic flakes lay flat. This results in a smooth texture and a hue that dramatically changes based on the viewing angle. Now the interior was always the QX80's weak point, so designers went back to the drawing board and as a result, there's a layered design with soft touch accents and dual 14.3 inch displays. The infotainment system is particularly notable as it features Google built in. Now this means users will find Google Maps, Google Assistant, and the Google Play Store. And dominating the dashboard is a new 9 inch display situated on the ramp like center console. Now it provides access to the drive mode selector, climate control settings, and front seat controls. Now if you put the screens aside, this model has a luxurious mix of leather, wood, and metal. Soft touch accents are bound and the dash features illuminated infinity badging as well as flowing lines. Now other highlights include a push button shifter, a 64 color ambient lighting system, and an available center console box. Now customers can get heated and ventilated first and second row seats as well as a heated third row. And the model also offers massaging seats in the front and second rows for the first time. Now furthermore, the QX80 can be equipped with a new biometrics cooling system which uses an infrared sensor in the headliner to detect if second row passengers are hot. If they are, the climate control system automatically goes to work to rapidly cool off the passengers. Now while the system sounds a little gimmicky, Infinity says that testing it has shown that passengers can get to a comfortable temperature in 50% less time. Now, there's also a new front wide view that uses cameras that provide a 170 degree view of the vehicle surroundings on the 14.3 inch displays. There's also an invisible hood view which shows video of what's directly in front of the vehicle as if one could see right through the engine bay. They're joined by an improved around view monitor and an upgraded digital rear view mirror. Now on topic of the cameras, there's a new journey diary that can capture photo videos from the front facing camera. The model also offers an in-car camera which can be used for posting on social media, remotely monitoring the vehicle, and snooping on the second row occupants. Now the QX80 Pure and Lux will come with, with a 14 speaker clipshare audio system with 600 watts of power, the sensory and autograph variants up the ante with a 24 speaker system that has titanium tweeters, an 8 inch tri power subwoofer, and a 24 channel amplifier. Now, the system also has four roof mounted speakers as well as metal trim speakers mounted to the front headrest. Now, getting back to the X80 autograph, 
It's the flagship of flagships and has a unique exterior styling as well as the ultra luxurious cabin. The latter sports semi aniline quilted leather seats, open pore ash wood trim, and laser cut aluminum inlays with a rear touchscreen for climate and seat controls. Now, putting the equipment aside, the 2025 QX80 is more spacious as there's 30% more cargo room behind the third row. The model also has an extra 18% behind the second row. Now, these improvements are aided by a flatter floor as well as a slight 1 inch 25 millimeter increase in length. Buyers will also find 7 and 8 seat configurations with increased knee and foot space in the first two rows and significantly enhanced width, knee and leg room for the third row. The last two rows are also powered for convenience. Under the hood, the old 5.6 liter V8 has been replaced with a new twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 and while that sounds like a downgrade, the engine produces 450 horses, 336 kilowatts, 456 PS and 516 pound feet, 699 newton meters of torque. That's an increase of 50 horsepower, 37 kilowatts, 51 PS, and 103 pound feet, 139 newton meters, which should shut down the no replacement for displacement crowd. Now, this isn't the only change as a seven speed transmission has been replaced by a new nine speed gearbox. And Infinity says it will allow for both responsive acceleration and efficient highway cruising. Rear wheel drive also comes standard on the Pier and Lux, while the Sensory and Autograph have four wheel drive. The SUV offers air suspension that can lower the vehicle 2.8 inches, 71 millimeters, or raise it 2.4 inches, 61 millimeters for off-roading. Now, buyers can also expect an improvement driving experience thanks to the stiffer frame. It benefits from a 57% improvement in lateral stiffness as well as a 300% increase in torsional stiffness. Now, on the safety front, there's a host of standard driver assistance features like the predictive four collision warning, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, and blind spot warning. Now, they're joined by rear cross traffic alert, blind spot intervention, and lane departure prevention with also trailer blind spot warning. Now, Pro Pilot Assist 1.1 comes standard and combines adaptive cruise control with a lane centering function to make long trips more relaxing. Higher end variants offer Pro Pilot Assist 2.1, which offers level 2 semi autonomous driving, and the system also allows for hands free operation on certain highways. Now, the 2025 Infiniti QX80 is set to hit the market this summer with pricing starting at $82,450 before the $1,995 destination. This marks a significant jump from the 2024 model, which began at $74,150. However, it aligns closely with competitors like the Escalade at $81,895 and a Lincoln Navigator at $82,765. So what are you guys thinking about the new 2025 QX80? And are you looking for the Pure, the Lux, the Sensory or Autograph editions? Drop those comments down below. And if you guys want to help further support the channel, check the links down in the description below. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.